anxious. I feel a, a little bit like we should be doing more. I feel a little bit like uh, we're missing an opportunity or two or three or four or 400. Why is my friend Michael Port feeling a little anxious? I mean, after all, he's a New York Times best-selling author and the founder of Heroic Public Speaking. What's got him feeling so unsure? Today, we're gonna to talk about a new way to market our products and services without all the upfront effort, the fanfare, and the party balloons. It's a technique that Michael and I are trying with our recently released books. That's today on The Loyalty Loop. <laughs> Oftentimes, when a company wants to market a product or a service, they go a little overboard. They tell everyone they can. They post on every single social media channel. They buy ads to get web traffic to those landing pages. Or in the case of authors like my friend Michael Port, they go on media tours and bookstore appearances. All of this work is to generate as much interest as possible in the shortest amount of time. And I bet you can imagine what happens, right? You get a huge spike in interest. You create a marketing moment. For instance, one of Michael's most successful books is Book Yourself Solid. And the day it came out on Amazon, it went to number two on the bestseller list overall by 11 a.m. and it stayed there for two days. Michael was able to achieve such a huge spike in interest because he put in a lot of upfront effort. He did a ton of pre-sales, partnerships, interviews, email blasts. He built a fancy website. <laughs> he even held a raffle where he gave away vacation rentals and cameras. In fact, author Carla Johnson told me that writing the book is only 25% of the effort. Yeah. I know a ton of authors. The other 75% of the hard work comes in the first two weeks of all that frenzied promotion. Now, over the last two years, Michael and I have been working together on a book we titled The Referrable Speaker. And instead of doing a big fancy launch, I suggested we do something a little different. A quiet launch. Using a concept I call social momentum. Social momentum is a simple phased approach to content or product or marketing distribution that leverages the previous audience to grow the next audience. Instead of creating a marketing moment, we're looking to build marketing momentum. This would work for any kind of product or service or marketing or content. It's not just for books. So why would we try such a crazy idea? Well, let's look at how this actually works. Like I said, a typical launch results in a huge spike in interest and you have to then watch it trail off and wait for another big spike in interest when you release something new and again and again. That's how the typical launch works. Rather than trying to create spikes of interest, a quiet launch is a slow growth method designed to create long lasting momentum and growth. Our goal is to raise the level of our valley so the previous valley is always lower than the next one. Ha. You know, we want to show growth. In order to do this, you're going to release your content or your product to one audience at a time. Then you use the response from the first audience to grow and adjust your message to the new and next audience. We'll start small using the power of one-to-one -one marketing. And we're using something called the half-life. It sure does. No, not that half-life. I'm talking about how long it takes for our one-to-one -one audience to enjoy, consume, and share our content before they start losing interest. Now, Michael and I did this first by posting on a Facebook group for Heroic Public Speaking. It's a private Facebook group with a small audience. We had conversations with them, we asked them their thoughts, and we read their reviews on Amazon and Goodreads. Then, we started marketing one to a few. We're taking what we're learning and applying it to the next group. We participated in a live clubhouse conversation and we did a live online seminar for about 80 people. For step three, we asked our readers to tell their friends. This is one to new. 
And to do this, Michael and I created a buy one, give one, buy one campaign. You know, BOGO, 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 BOGO. In other words, we invited every reader to designate their own speaker buddy and we gave them a free book. That person then has the option to pay their book forward and invite another speaker buddy into the circle. Bogo, bo, bogo, 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 bo, 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 bogo, 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 bo. Can't say it right. And so on and so on and so on. And lastly, step four here. This is new to news. That's right. We're gonna use this growing network of readers to then grow interest that's even greater and wider. We'll get the podcasters and the industry publications and the bloggers all talking about the book, creating greater interest, you know, so that it keeps growing and growing and growing. Using this technique, you'll learn the important difference between creating marketing moments and true sales momentum. What I hope happens is, is we, is we produce a really positive and ever growing long tail for the book so that the book becomes a book that people in the industry tell other people in the industry they need to read if they're serious about uh, building a career in this industry. Uh, so that we're not the ones talking about it, the readers are the ones talking about it. And then it becomes the book that uh, everybody knows they need to read in this industry. That's what I hope. So I am sure you're wondering how this is all going, right? Well, after about five weeks, we've sold about 800 books and we've generated about 40 or so speaking buddies and generated about $7,000 in royalties. But that's just the start. Our goal is to create a consistently referable book, one that will continue to grow for the next 12 to 18 months. I think that ultimately, if we're able to accomplish our goals, it'll feel a heck of a lot better because our success is based on the value that we provided for the readers of this book, not uh, in being uh, clever, uh, you know, in our marketing or just being aggressive uh, and relentless in our marketing. Anybody can be aggressive and relentless in their marketing. Not everybody can actually produce a product that people want. And isn't that what we're in the business of doing? You know, I've launched this book so quietly that I haven't even told my parents about it. <laughs> yeah, they weren't in that early one-to-one -one audience that we were pursuing. So I've got a call to make. In the meantime, I'll see you in my loyalty loop. Huh, have a good one. Hey, Mom. Yeah, I, I wanted to tell you something that, uh, I, you know that book I've been working on? Yeah, well, I finally launched it. No, no, not today. Actually, actually, uh, we, we launched it five weeks ago. Whew, okay.